Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from Spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love. And um, how it is uh, back to normal this week after Easter break. And um, I hope everyone is okay, doing all right out there. And um, I just thought I would share today a couple of things because a lovely follower of the channel, thank you, um, sent me a video of a lady that I've shared before because she also does QHHT, uh, which is the quantum healing hypnosis therapy that I have started doing. And um, she's called Alison Co. And she um, transcripts sessions that she has with her clients and then shares them on YouTube. Um, and uh, this lovely lady, you know who you are, thank you, sent me um, one and it was a message from the trees and um, that, that, that her client was talking about basically being in, uni in union with the trees and getting the wisdom and, you know, and what we need to do to work with the trees to help bring this ancient wisdom through. And the reason why um, I, and so I will add the link to the video in a comment down below in this video if you want to watch it. Um, but it reminded me of one of the first um one of the first letters that i did for somebody um who is another fun of the channel and this is this is why i'm going to talk about this because it's so perfect how people develop and we all grow together and as a community we're all individually going out and doing these all these different things of spreading light and anchoring light onto the planet creatively you know, however that is, it, every single one of us is different. But um, why it made me think about it was because he had asked me to channel a, a letter from the trees. And um, and it was the first time um, that I'd done it. I think it was the, one of the first ones that I'd done. And uh, from a non-twin flame, you know, because normally I do channelings through twin flames, but I can do, you know, from any request really that comes through. I mean, I always say, I just can try, you know, that's the best thing I can do. I can put it out there and say, okay, we want a message from this. Is it possible? And then I just be an open vessel for whatever wants to come through. Anyway, um, and... I'm just going to share, and the reason why that is so perfect, because this particular letter was, I've been thinking about it a lot recently as well, because it was such a beautiful letter about how we need to walk the earth as if we were the trees and imagine roots going down into the planet um, and to imagine our feet you know, basically grounding and sending love down. And um, it was just like the perfect, perfect, um, the perfect, perfect message. And that's why, because I've been thinking of um, compiling a book of all of the other letters that have come through from either the trees or the, you know, whatever, star people or all the different kind of entities or beings or requests that have come through, you know, from people. Because basically, I just think all of these are messages of love from the universe, messages of hope, messages of guidance, basically, wanting to guide us, to give us um, that the help that we all need, basically, <laughs> because as a human race, we are, you know, on the whole, we're getting it very, we're making a bit of a mess of it, aren't we? And we've made a bit of a mess of the planet and we've made a bit of a mess because we've just forgotten what we're, you know, we've basically forgotten ourselves. But as with everything, you know, it's not, um, you know, it's it's uh, it's not just. I'm just trying to find that letter. 
um it's it's all part of the growing process so it's all about what we are supposed to be doing here and um i am i wonder if i can find that letter the letter from the trees i'll see if i can find it and i'll add that to another video but um so and the reason sorry but it's just his things just popped up what he went on to do is going to create it. He basically went out, off and set up at his own wellness center, which again, is just beautiful, right? Because all of these things and all these, you know, like I say, we're all doing our little bit bits all over the planet. And that's amazing. So, um, so yes, thank you. So I will add Alison Coe's, um, her email i'm sorry her video into the description box but basically it is you know all of the messages and not surprisingly are very similar to the channelings that come through via all of you that request channelings through me the information is the same um that we must connect we must live with intent we must just pay attention to grounding putting our feet on the planet and intentfully sending love into the planet and out, you know, be a mirror ball of sending love out and do that intentfully. Um, and the more that we do that, the more that we all communally um, create a grid and that grid lights up and, um, and then we lift up, we rise. So what is the message for today? And I love it because the trees, I have some, look at that flying high. Number 20 as well. Yeah, out of the maze, look, the maze is below and uh, we can get so easily stuck in the maze. <laughs> this maze of, you know, because if we just kick, you know, all you need to do is let things get on top of you, which is so easy to do. And then suddenly, you know, you just, you can't see how your way out. And then that's why we're told, no, just go ground, you know, go stand by the tree, put your feet on the earth. Imagine that channel of light running through your body, going down through your feet, into your toes, out through your feet, feeling that connection to the earth, feeling your the roots and the roots of the trees, we all work together uh, to support the weaker trees. And we're all just one big forest. So it's number 20. Uh, so let's have a look. 2020 20, 20 is the number. So you have the power to see things from a higher perspective. If you were a bird flying high in the air, what would you see? When you soar above life's challenges and opportunities, a new perspective becomes available. Today, you have invisible wings that allow you to swiftly bring your circumstances into alignment with your highest purpose. This is a sign that your waiting is over, that all your hard work has paid off and the things you hope for are no longer beyond your scope. You have the ability to reach for the stars and find one with your name on it. Spread your wings and soar because the angels are waiting for you. That's so lovely. The angels are waiting for you. And um, amazing. So um, if you are actually, if you're based in the UK and you would like to have a QHHT session, which is a quantum healing hypnosis technique therapy, um, then let me know because I am... Um, I thought I needed to have five people, but actually I need to, and I've got more than that, um, but I need to have 25 people <laughs> to, um, to do sessions for, and then, um, I can go, then I get, can get accredited to go on the register. Um, so I am looking for more guinea pigs, let's say. Um, so if you are based in the UK and you want to have a session, um, then, get in contact with me my details are um my email will be below in the link um but it is very fascinating I have to say and uh so the people that have come for sessions that they're like 
what <laughs> i'm like i know it's crazy so letter 20 from i'm going with book four which is the latest in the edition and these are all amazing ways of getting that little hit of love energy rise, raise your vibration so we are the love we are the vibration of divine creation. I know that it seems crazy, impossible, but believe me, I've gone over and over it thinking I must be absolutely insane to even think that this is real. I just can't get my head around it. But then I feel you, I sense you. It's like I can read your mind sometimes. I get such a strong sense of you being near me. It freaks me out. But then at the same time, it's incredible. I want to be able to explore it more and more. I want to know what it would be like if I could really let myself go and be with you. All of me with all of you. You know that song by John Legend, All of Me Loves All of You. <laughs> and uh, he was on a British, um, one of the British chat shows the other day. And uh, there were just so many synchronicities and it was just like ridiculous. <laughs> Um, but that's, you know, that's the thing. There's just always constant bombardment of messages, bombardment, bombardment of the, um, universe giving you like signs and all of those, you know, crazy, crazy things. I'm going to go with one of the cards from the wisdom of love as well. So, um, yeah, we just all must remember that we're growing together. We're doing this together. It's a communal effort and uh, all of the work that we've put in over the years, <laughs> soon to be maybe, is it a decade? No, it can't be a decade yet. I don't know, can't be a decade. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> maybe it is, maybe it is, I don't know. Anyway, let's have a look. Um, we go. Here we go. And it is time to let all of the fears and the doubts and the anxieties and the, and the just like that letter just said, am I crazy to think about this, that this is even real, that it's even possible, that it's, you know, time to let all of those crazy thoughts go, right? Um, because we are walking along, along this star-studded bridge over to the next dimension, as in bringing the fifth dimension down into the physical, bringing the spirit into the physical. And so we are letting go of all of the stuff that holds us back from doing that. And we are doing it collectively together. So I'm just gonna pick a cut and the final letter actually to read, um, which is, cause it would be 145. That letter was the one 100, that letter, that card was 45, but I'm gonna read 145, which is the last letter in this book. So um, it is, you know that I love you a ridiculous amount to the moon and back to the infinite size of the universe, to the never-ending heartbeat of our soul. You make me feel different to anyone else I've ever met. You make me feel at home, but you also make me feel enticed, scared, excited, wondrous, explorative, confused, but most of all, completely lost in love. Lost in the emotion of it all, lost in the feelings, lost in how you make me feel, lost in knowing what to do, lost and always looking out for you, hoping that our lives collide together again and we can get lost within each other until eternity. Oh, oh. I think I'm in love with that letter. This one, this bit, to the infinite size of the universe, to the never ending heartbeat of our soul thank you thank you universe for these beautiful messages 
Thank you to all of you for letting me do them for you. Thank you for all of you for listening, uh, for liking, commenting, sharing the videos and just sending me emails and coming to me because again, without doing all the healings, the readings, the channelings, I wouldn't see any of this. And uh, that is the joy of this. The joy, the joy of the journey of awakening is being completely head blown every single day. So, and you guys do that for me. So if you would like to, like I said, if you want to have a QHHT session, I am looking for guinea pigs. If you want to have um, healings, readings, channelings, getting the books, then all of that supports me as well, which I'm super grateful for. So um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. But in the meantime, I hope wherever you are, you have a wonderful day. All details in the link below. But um, in the meantime, I hope you stay well, stay bright, stay switched on to the light. See you. Bye.